All right, so I just came back from Mexico showing you the best and worst that country has to offer. And I, when I came back last week, I checked my website. The numbers are doing better than ever. Facebook, the analytics and the insight, they're doing great. Everything's fine until I check my YouTube channel to find out that we're getting lowest number of hits than ever before and two thirds of my videos have been demonetized. Not many people know this, but my main source of income is YouTube advertisement. It's an ethical way for you to choose. If you wanna watch an advertisement, you will. If you don't, you will click skip or have ad blocker. It is your personal choice. But with that income that we used to have, we used to sustain this entire operation. With these latest changes, there's no way, shape, or form I could even continue what I'm doing right now because of this sudden, unexpected, unexplained change. Now first, I just sent all the videos that were demonetized randomly, including the top videos, to YouTube, to the support network. And I told myself, maybe it's me. Maybe it's not just you know because Facebook is doing great and the website's doing great. Maybe it's something that I'm doing wrong with the YouTube channel. Let me bust my ass and do everything I can to do the best content I can this week. And I created 14 videos. 14 videos this week and a lot of them have been demonetized and they're getting record low numbers. 2,000 hits when we have 200,000 YouTube subscribers. Why is this happening? Well, I could just think of a couple things. Look what just happened with antiwar.com. Antiwar.com, a very popular alternative independent news site. They had their AdSense account totally taken away because of images that they posted from Abu Ghraib. Uh, AdSense came to them and said because of our policy of not showing gore, we're going to take your AdSense account away. Antiwar.com made a big public stink about this and everyone pointed out the fact like, hey, all these other mainstream establishment toe the line kind of media websites, they have a lot more gore than Antiwar.com. Why don't you take away their AdSense account? Why was Antiwar.com targeted? Google and AdSense which are the ones who are taking away my revenue now. They said, okay, okay, we'll, we'll reinstate it. And then they, oh, they came back even more saying, oh, we, you have pictures of the Ukraine conflict that are pretty gory. We're gonna just take it away again. So they totally backed off, total censorship, cut off the total supply line, the financial line for antiwar.com, threatening their establishment, threatening their alternative independent media while allowing all these other mainstream media outlets to show gore. Now it's important to note, a lot of our content, there is no gore. We never violated the YouTube policy or the Google AdSense policy in any way, shape, or form. There is no violence, there is no gore, there is no uh, just mangled bodies. There's nothing horrible in any way, shape, or form that violates its policy. So why are they doing this to me? And the official response I got is uh, the main two videos were about ISIS and they said it's sensitive content. There was no gore, there was no nastiness, there was no killings, there was no blood, nothing in those videos. But they said it's sensitive content. All the other videos that they randomly demonetized they said that they need to send to a special team, a special unit that's above them to investigate this. And they have yet to even respond to me in any way, shape or form. And they just destroyed my main flow of income, which makes me not able to work and pay off the servers, the data bills, the employee that I have. It makes it impossible to virtually operate. It was a great system and now it's just totally slashed. I asked my audience on Facebook and Twitter, are you even seeing the videos in the subscription feed? And this is what they had to say. Nope. I see them, but I see them on Facebook posts before the YouTube posts. No, not really. I usually have to view your channel in order to view your videos. Not as much as I have in the past. So even the 200,000 plus YouTube subscribers that we engaged in, that I worked so hard throughout the years, putting on my blood, sweat, and tears, interviewing politicians, getting a gun to my head in Chicago, getting threatened and harassed and intimidated for the reporting that we do, they're not even getting the videos that are supposed to be given out to you. And of course, uh, Google announced their new algorithm where they're gonna be deciding if something is truthful enough and they will hurt its ranking in the search engines if something is not truthful to them. So no longer are articles and videos based on popularity. If you like them, if you find them honest, if it's your personal truth, if it resonates with you, you will share those. Now Google's gonna downvote them, bring them down in the algorithm, which they have right now to our YouTube channel, all of a sudden, just like they did to antiwar.com, and it's a clear case of censorship happening to youtube.com forward slash we are change, our main source of income, and now I'm stuck with no options. I mean, what? I could work for the mainstream media, which I've been offered jobs to, but then I would be a total slave and not be able to artistically express myself freely as I am right now with this independent YouTube channel. I could take the job of a 
government state run media organization that wants me to have their own show I could give up and quit and all those options suck but instead of seeing this as a problem I want to see this as an opportunity to build up my other services to help provide you a better we are change experience and that's why I should have been smarter and not just depending on this horrible organization for my main source of income I have to do this independently and I need your help to do so and that's why I'm going to tell you about the sponsor lounge which I will put my full weight and energy into from now on the latest the best the greatest videos that we produce will first go on the sponsor lounge later a month later they will go on this YouTube channel but first the sponsor lounge and you can join the sponsor lounge by paying five dollars a month and support independent media get to see real behind the scenes videos of where your money's going what we're up to crazy videos that I probably will never post on YouTube um, and also the latest and the best stuff I will also communicate with you once a week and tell you exactly where your money's going where I'm traveling to and giving a speech to if people are lucky enough I've been extremely blessed to have other people pay for my travels to give speeches to and that happens a lot if I do come to your city and your town I will sneak you into the event that I am speaking at and those events do happen a lot of the times I will communicate with you directly on our work on what new stories you want to see on what you want me to investigate and get your feedback one-on-one -on -one and, and you could participate with me building this news organization by joining the sponsor lounge by paying five dollars a month we also have change media university which is a full online course teaching people how to be real and independent journalists we have that for hundred fifty dollars many people are saying I should charge a lot more but I'm saying right now I need to keep this operation going we're gonna have it for hundred dollars just for this month alone and we're gonna be adding a lot more content to that program not only teaching you all the steps having the right equipment getting press credentials getting into events but also a lot of self-help self-development personal stuff one-on-one -on -one working with you to make you the best optimal human being that you could be and it's also great for other people who are not just wanting to be journalists but want their message out there to the larger public we will teach you how to do that one-on-one -on -one with change media university of course we take donations but I'm not gonna just beg you for donations I want to give you something in exchange we take Bitcoin coins, light coins, all coins, any kind of coins that you can imagine. We're going to keep this operation going no matter what and we won't let this censorship stop us in any way. We're going to work with local businesses. If you have a product that you want to sell out there and you're doing things ethically and you're doing things right, something like having people having people get, get off the grid by providing solar panels or helping people to farm and make their own food if you have a business like that and you want to advertise with us to mutually benefit each other please email me at luke at wearechange.org and of course if you're a high school student and if you want change media university for free just email me at cmu at wearechange.org we're gonna see a lot of also independent artists whether it's making custom V masks that are painted or custom jewelry you're gonna be seeing a lot of that on wearechange.org on the main website don't forget to sign up and show people even though this censorship is happening let it not stop us from exposing the greater truths of what's really happening in this world it's sourced it's documented people need to see the real information that they're not getting from the corporate horse stream media that are getting lucrative ad senses and they're not being taken away and they're not being censored because they told the establishment line they don't make you think radically they don't show you information that's valuable to you and that's why this is happening to real independent media show everyone that this can't be stopped share this video if you can't help in any way shape or form that's okay we'll still be here I'll still be doing this no matter what with Dan Dix of PressForTruth.ca and Luke Rykowski of WeAreChange.org. Today we're going to be talking about something that affects all three of us. Dan, of course, in Canada, Luke in America, myself in Japan. That is the pressing dangers to internet freedom. Your university program will then send you as an intern to work for free at a professional media organization. If you follow the